Jesus is coming back soon, and I believe that we're going to be seeing a lot of revival before his return, including a revival in the Middle East that used to be a predominantly Christian country until the barbaric Islamic Crusades, which forced conversions, otherwise they'd be brutally tortured and killed. Since then, the Middle East has lost their Christian heritage, but God has not forgotten about them. And in this salvation story, you'll see that God's hand has not fallen away from the Arabic people. What's going on, guys? It's Big Nick back for another video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel today. Before we get into today's video, if you guys like Christian content, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel down below if you are new, and turn on my post notifications so you never miss a new video. Without further ado, let's get into it. A Kuwaiti royal prince has publicly denounced Islam and given his life to Jesus Christ. Now, I will mention that this story was over a decade ago, but it's still pretty cool to see what God is doing, regardless of the time period that it happened. And every soul is valuable to God, and it's valuable to me as well, and I hope you too, if you're a follower of Jesus. So who is this guy? Well, let's take a look. Prince Abdullah al Saba broke the news about his Christian conversion in an audio file on an Arabic Christian satellite TV channel, where he makes a bold confession of his faith in Christ, and even hints at being ready for martyrdom by the hands of the Islamic regime, saying he will accept whatever they do to him. The royal prince stated, if they kill me because of it, then I will appear before Jesus Christ and I will be with Jesus Christ forever. Kuwait is an Islamic nation with only 4% of the population identifying as Christian, governed strictly under Islamic Sharia law, where the penalty for leaving Islam is being amputated or put to death according to Muhammad's command in Surah Al-Ma'idah 533. The Quranic verse that gave birth to the Sharia law punishment states this, the recompense of those who wage war against Allah and his messenger and do mischief in the land is only that they shall be killed or crucified or their hands and their feet be cut off from opposite sides or be exiled from the land. That is their disgrace in this world and a great torment is theirs in the hereafter. Since his conversion, the Islamic press denounced his royal citizenship in an attempt to cover up his high-ranking status, sparking fears that others would convert to Christianity. As revival is sparking across Islamic nations and many Muslims are giving their lives to Jesus, God continues to prove that he is sovereign over all creation no matter what government or belief system chooses to defy his word. The truth of who God is can only be found in the Bible, and salvation can be found in the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. I pray that God will continue to pluck his creation out of false doctrines and show them his love that is only found in Jesus. Muhammad cannot save you, and he didn't even know where he was going after death, just like he states in Sahih al-Bukhari 3929. Muhammad says, by Allah, though I am the apostle of Allah, yet I do not know what Allah will do to me. The reason he didn't know what happened after death is because he was a mere mortal sinner who had no divine revelation on the truth of eternity that God's word makes very clear. However, Jesus, on the other hand, the true living God, and not just a mere prophet, knew exactly what was going to happen to him after he died, and even predicted his own resurrection. By stating in Luke 24, 7, the Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men, and be crucified, and the third day rise again. Although Muhammad was unsure about his salvation, as well as his eternal destiny, while claiming to be a messenger of God, Jesus Christ knew exactly where he came from, where he was going, and how he would rise again, in order to defeat death, hell, and the grave. It's clear that Jesus Christ triumphs Muhammad in every way, therefore making the Bible to be true and the Quran to be false. The Kuwaiti royal prince undoubtedly made the best decision of his life, and whatever persecution that may come his way that he endures will end up reaping rewards for him in the kingdom of heaven. If you made it all the way till the end of the video, I want you to comment down below, Jesus will save Muslims. If you guys want to financially sow into this ministry, I have an offering link that's in the description, and I also have merch that you can buy, which is linked in the description as well. Or you can become a YouTube member here on the channel. If you guys want to watch my last video, simply click up here, and if you guys want to subscribe to the channel, simply click up here. I'll see you guys very soon for another video. I love you guys so much. May God bless all of you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, take care and peace out.